Okay, wait. I have 1.11 mega hash for my whole farm now with everything. And it's estimated I'm supposed to make $17,000 a day mining the new Zealous Hash V3. I don't think so, but if that's true, oh man, I'm already finding some blocks here pretty fast on some of my rigs as well. Wow, that is that is absolutely insane. Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video, okay? I just saw Zealous is going to be hard forking here in about an hour and 41 minutes. And they're gonna be moving from Zealous Hash V2 to Zealous Hash V3. So, what does that mean? Well, by the time you guys see this video, all right, on Monday, my 178Xs will definitely not be profitable on Zealous because CPU mining rigs are gonna take over because Zealous's mission was always to have CPU and GPU be fair with each other, right? The 178Xs right now do about, what, 78 to 80 kilohash, and then a, like, 3900X does, like, 15 or 13 or something like that. So now, with the Zealous Hash V3, 3900X is gonna do 9 to 10 kilohash. So, anyone with CPU mining rigs that are mining right now may switch over. Well, as of recording, I don't know if many people know this, but uh, I'm expecting not many people are gonna move over uh, to Zealous Hash V3 or to mining Zealous. I think the emissions right now is like $8,7500 a day right now, so it's really not that much, but I'm curious to know if that's gonna be dropping off hardware from other CPU mining networks like Monero, right? And how many, you know, 3900Xs are gonna move over to Zealous Hash V3 or, you know, 5950Xs or 7950Xs as of recording. So, you all know I have a few CPU mining rigs on right now, three 3900Xs and also a floor of 3900Xs here, which I wanna set up and get up before Zealous forks in about, what, an hour, two hours as of recording. I'm already testing out a single 3900X, hitting about 9.5 kilohash using the who underscore CPU miner. Okay, if you guys want this, hopefully HiveOS will incorporate it into their flight sheet. Uh, thanks to Viper.net for this who underscore CPU. This is the, I guess, optimized uh, CPU miner for Zealous Hash V3. I'll have it linked down below. Uh, if not, it hopefully should be auto-populated in HiveOS for your flight sheet. So right now I'm testing it on Viper.net's testnet uh, custom pool. I'm getting about 9.5 kilohash right now, and this is good for me to uh, keep note. According to mining pool stats, looks like we're at 1.07 gigahash for the whole network. Uh, maybe 1.3 there. Okay, according to all the pool stats there. Looks like we do have a bunch of drop off and drop back up on the hash rate here. I wonder if that's because of uh, of cubic. I'm not quite sure. So that's sad. The 178Xs are going to not be as relevant anymore on Zealous. Uh, these were really, really strong on Zealous just because of the HBM2 memory and uh, memory dependent card as Zealous was a memory dependent uh, algorithm. So what I'm gonna do right now, okay, I'm gonna focus on this. I need to get my 3900Xs, I got some 5950Xs sitting that I need to get these CPUs on because as if Zealous may be profitable because there may not be many people that are gonna switch over from the other uh, CPU mining network. So I'm thinking CPU mining might be pretty lucrative. So I really need to get these on, all the 3900Xs I have sitting. And also my plan is to take off my 4090s from all of my 5950X rigs. And I, yeah, I'm gonna use my 5950Xs to CPU mine because majority of my 4090s aren't red in right now and I'm gonna move these into server cases anyway as my server rigs are rented on simplepod.ai right now. So that's more lucrative. So anyways, all right, I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna focus on getting these CPU rigs up, populate this area, probably a bit more here. And you guys should see this all populated right after today's sponsor. <laughs> 
looking to earn profitably during your crypto mining journey, look no further than ASICMarketplace.com, where they sell all the latest crypto miners and provide fast shipping service. At ASICMarketplace.com, the price you see is the price you pay. Shipping and DDP right to your door are included, no surprises at checkout. Pay your way with secure options like direct bank transfer or crypto payments like Bitcoin, USDT, or even Caspa. Ready to save even more? Use code RPM at checkout and get $100 off each ASIC order. Join the ASICMarketplace.com community today and mine smarter, not harder. Links down below. Okay, it's been about an hour and I was able to get three more rigs up and I realized I was looking at the wrong Zealous countdown because the one on their website I think was wrong and so I'm on this one now. So, so we have an hour and 18 minutes left for me here as of recording so it should happen for me at about 12.44. Alright, so I need to get up three more. My goal was to get 10 CPU rigs up. I do have one on the test net or was on the test net. Now I have it on the uh, main pool for Vipor.net. I mean, 9.53 kilohash on this 3900X, 3700 megahertz uh, CPU. So, hmm, this is going to be interesting. And I was just on Rabid Mining's live stream, and he was streaming about Zealous as well. And everyone in that stream was testing out GPUs. So GPUs don't seem to be that great, but now that the algorithm is tended towards core, not as much memory, apparently GPUs with really good core are really efficient or on par with CPUs. So A2000s, which thank you to Zapirate for this screenshot, he was testing it. Apparently a A2000 can get about 7.6 kilohash, but at about, you know, 68, 70 watts. So that might be on par efficiency with you know, CPUs, which is pretty insane. So I got an hour and 15 minutes left. I'm gonna continue on uh, removing some of the CPU or AI rigs that I was using AI for. Also, I've been removing a lot of RAM. All right, I got 64 gig kits of RAM here and one terabyte NVMEs, and I've been taking those out and putting in the smaller stuff, the smaller sticks of RAM and uh, 32 gigs NVMe sticks here. I have, I have a whole bunch of these I bought from Parallel Miner when they were selling these for like a couple bucks. But here it is. Got this rig going. Added one more there. Uh, this one here. Oh, I'm actually having trouble with this rig. I don't know what's going on, but it needs to have a GPU on it. No matter what I do, it won't boot without a GPU. I made sure in the BIOS that, I don't know, auto detects uh, PCIe. Uh, I don't know, nothing. Uh, I had it all default. It, it needs a GPU for some reason in order for it to mine. So I have it here for now. I need to figure it out later. All right, three more rigs. I'll be right back. All right, I got all 10 up. Here we go. Two of them are on the Zealous fork right now. Zealous hash v3, mining to Viper.net. Just two of them, just doing that. And then see if they're gonna switch over because it's gonna happen in about eight minutes and 30 seconds as of recording this. It's midnight, man, it is late. Oh my goodness, my, I'm losing my voice. But anyways, all right, here are the two rigs. I got a 3900X CPU doing 9.56 kilohash. And then I have a 5950X doing 13.48 kilohash. All right, so, oh, it looks like it's doing some improvement, dynamic scaling. Hmm, this is something to do with the who you who developer i don't know but anyways looks like i'm using about 78 watts 80 watts for this that's that's pretty good and then the power consumption for my 5950x is 128 watts all right well that's pretty good okay well this switchover is going to happen in seven minutes let me just show you guys here I took out all the 5090s, our 4090s, and I, no, sorry, the 5090 is staying uh, in that rig. So I have five uh, 4090s here sitting. I do have one 3090 Ti. Mr. Crutman, I know you said you wanted to buy this GPU. Let me know if you still want it. And then, man, look at my stack of 32 gig sticks of RAM. I think I have like five or six grand worth of 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM here. 32 gig sticks. Each of them are 32 gig. I could definitely sell these for a pretty penny as I'm not using them anymore. I also have a lot of one terabyte NVMEs. All right, six 
minutes left. Okay, let me show you guys over here. So I did have a rig with the GPU. I did figure it out. It was a bio setting in the integrated peripherals and then VGA detection, I put that on ignore. Then took out the GPU and then it booted without the GPU. So that was great. Now to show you guys, my CPU mining shelf is no longer an AI shelf. It is the CPU mining shelf. Look at this all over, except for my RTX 5090 rig, this is gonna stay as is. It was already rented, which is on salad right now. Okay, I got four of the CPU rigs down here, 3900Xs, a few 5950Xs, as you guys can see here. Okay, and yeah, another one up here. So, 10 for now, okay? I need more time to build a bunch more, and the 3900X is sitting on the floor from Rabid Mining, as you all know. I think I need to rearrange my shelf. Basically, the CPU mining shelf, I need to stand them up just like these, okay? So that I could fit more, right? So, you know, I could fit more on the second row, so I'm gonna need to put this level up, and then uh, have another one, I think, near the top, so then I can have, uh, three rows maybe four i don't know i'm gonna have to see but yeah it's looking it's looking better but anyways okay four minutes left i want to like show you guys to see if it actually switches over on time here okay so we're gonna just wait a couple more minutes i will show you guys when it's like 10 seconds left okay so i just refreshed my browser and it went up another four minutes or five minutes and yeah the time went up later i haven't seen anything flick yet uh, new stratum difficulty, I don't know if this is changing or not, nope, I don't think so. So, soon though, soon, alright, be right back. Seriously, how much RAM do I have here? I got a lot, I got a lot, okay. Alright, another 4 minutes left, let me refresh the browser here, 4 minutes 35 seconds. I haven't seen anything change here yet. Not finding any shares. I got a rejected share back up here. Nothing yet, nothing yet. So I'm curious how much of the network hash rate is going to drop off because I don't think there's gonna be many people who are gonna switch over and not very many people may not know of this switch over, but I guess we'll find out if uh, this is gonna drop. It's probably gonna drop pretty hard. As you know, 170HXs are doing a lot of hash rate, GPUs that are most efficient, you know, memory hardened, they'll do really good on the Zealous Hash V2, but now on V3, they're gonna be nerfed, and I guess more on par with uh, CPUs now. CPUs are gonna be the better, I guess, alternative in a sense, but maybe not, because efficiency-wise, and maybe density wise too like you know depending on how many GPUs uh, the, the types of GPUs you have like maybe A2000s or, or maybe the core dependent you know GPUs that are really strong if you have them in Octominers and such maybe you know they'll still be good on Zealous all right two more minutes two more minutes this is really exciting I'm I'm actually I'm actually really happy to be up this late to be you know kind of excited for mining something that is you know still doing hard forks these days and you know trying to get rid of uh, ASICs and stuff. I guess Zealous has always been about, you know, GPU miners, I guess CPU as well. And uh, they've always been, you know, they've always been uh, ASIC resistant. And so it's good that this project is doing that and still doing upgrades. And you know, okay, what's happening here? All right, stratum flip ignored, no backups configuring. All right, we got a minute left. Let me refresh the browser, maybe it's jumped. Nope, minute, okay, it did jump a little bit. Minute 45, nothing has flicked yet on these two miners. 3900X, 5950X, this is a momentous time and I almost knocked over my tower of 32 gig sticks of RAM. This is, I don't think I'm ever gonna like stop looking at this, because this is money right here, literally money. Okay, let's refresh the browser again. One minute, here we go. Real time, I'm gonna watch this like a hawk. I'm just curious if we're gonna see a flip here in the miner, uh, the Who CPU miner, HTN miner downloads. Is this from the WhoSat miner developer? Hmm, interesting. Looks like they have the GPU one, or no, that's for Who hash. Okay, never mind. Anyways, 13 seconds left. Nope, back up to, oh, 30. All right, it's, it's probably gonna happen here soon. We are watching this in real time. Real time, my friends, here we go. The momentous occasion, zealous hash v3. Here we go, smart contracts. Nine, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Are we slitched? Yes. Oh, we're getting the accepted shares. Yes. Look at that. Detected zealous stratum protocol enabling opt uh, underscore XE one mode. Okay. All right, look at that. This is awesome. Accepted, accepted. Okay. All right, I'm going to, okay, I need to switch over all the other rigs here, um, except for my other two. And let's just do it. We're gonna do flight sheet, select flight sheet. We're gonna do viper.net, apply. There we go. Okay, awesome. All right, let that go. Okay, we're getting accepted. 30% accepted. Nine shares. Missing, uh, what is that? User mining activated. Okay. 5950X. Yeah. Moved on over. Looking good, I think. Okay. All my CP rigs are switched over. Yeah, look at that. Getting pretty good hash rate from all my CPUs here. But look at this. Okay, so I'm on Vipor.net. And it says, I am estimated to make, with 10 of my CPU rigs, $318 in a day. That, that's estimated. That, of course, I think that this is probably obviously going to go down. And hashrate.no is probably going to show profitability for Zealous to be very high. And people are going to figure it out and move over. But I'm taking advantage of this right now as we speak. So I am now thinking of switching over all of my 170HXs. You know what? Let me let me do that. Let, let, let me do that. And I took a screenshot just as just as just to you know embed my place in history here of when Zealous Hash moved to Zealous Hash V3. Or when Zealous moved to Zealous Hash V3. Thought I'd take a screenshot of this. I love it. Okay, holy crap. My 170HXs are pretty decent actually. If I show you guys here. 8 gigabyte cards are getting 16.79 kilohash at about 100 to 120 watts. That's not bad. And then my 10 gigabyte 170HXs are doing 12 to 14 at 100, under 100, some of them are 100, under 100 watts. So pretty good. Then I looked at my Vipor.net and it says I should be making over two grand a day, which I don't think that is possible. I'm going to refresh here and I think my kilohash should be going up a lot more, but I think this is, I'm already finding some blocks here. It says 23 minutes ago, uh, 3282260 and I found it with the rig RPM CPU 05. So, I was just looking now, okay, I think the Zealous network hash rate has dropped off a cliff. Yep, but I think it's it's already it's already coming on. 205 mega hash. Alright, looks like Cryptex is the top one. But um, yeah, I'm on Vipor and we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, I think that's all I wanted to do in this video. I will keep you guys updated. I will probably document this for the next couple days. And uh, I mean, you guys will see this video on Monday, so it's going to be old news already. But yeah, anyways, this is cool. My CPU farm is, yeah, about pretty much 100 kilohash. So this pretty much equals one of my 170HX rigs. So I think 170HXs, oh, this one's kind of going down, are still okay. I think, I think the 170HXs are still okay. But now CPUs are in the game now, so... It, I guess it's like leveling the playing field essentially so efficiency across the board I think is more fair across all these uh, CPUs and GPUs now which is uh, really good okay well we'll monitor and see how this goes I guess it all depends on how many people are going to be moving towards uh, zealous right it's going to be very interesting to see how many people are going to move over and if it's going to be you know I hate the word profitable, but you know, it's true if it's going to be profitable or not. All right. So, all right. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out, man. I got to get these 4090s now into the server case and doing AI, I guess. That's really what these are. Should I sell these? Actually, the prices of 4090s have been going up. Yeah, I think, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Okay. Wait, I have 1.11 mega hash 
for my whole farm now with everything and it's estimated I'm supposed to make $17,000 a day mining the new Zealous Hash V3 I don't think so but if that's true oh man I'm already finding some blocks here pretty fast on some of my rigs as well wow that is that is absolutely insane